Hi, it's Angel. Today I went to Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle's beautiful waterfront. I thought it would be nice to make fish for dinner tonight and maybe find some other ingredients to cook with along the way. So this is my first video in a three-part series of Asian-inspired recipes using fresh ingredients from Pike Place Market. Enjoy! I'm going to be cooking an Asian fusion style fish. It's grilled sea bass with a sweet soy ginger sauce and it will have hints of cilantro, a little bit of garlic, and the fish is going to be super flaky and tender. Now the great thing about cooking with sea bass is that anybody can cook this fish. Since sea bass is kind of on the fatty side, it's really forgiving when cooking, so you don't have to worry about it being dry. It's going to taste amazing. So with that, let's get started with the ingredients. First, let's marinate the sea bass. I like to buy about half a pound of fish per person. We'll start by coarsely chopping the cilantro. And now we're ready for our fish. Rinse the fillets under cold water and pat and dry with a paper towel. Brush the sea bass with a light coating of oil I'm using grapeseed oil here, but feel free to use olive oil if you'd like. Sprinkle with a generous amount of garlic powder. <laughs> I know, garlic powder. Sounds weird, right? It'll taste good though, I promise. Sprinkle with a little bit of sea salt. And top and pat the freshly chopped cilantro into the fish. Flip and repeat until both sides are coated, then set aside to marinate for 10 minutes. While the fish is marinating, let's get started on making the sweet soy ginger sauce. Start by slicing up some serrano chilies and ginger. We'll be using a few slices of each to infuse our sauce with flavor and a bit of spice. Now we're ready to cook our sauce. In a shallow pan, add the soy sauce, the water, the cane sugar, and bring to a simmer. Stir until the sugar is completely dissolved, and once the sauce has come to a simmer, add the ginger and the serrano chilies. We'll want to gently continue to simmer for one minute while these flavors infuse. After one minute, the sauce will be ready to serve in small side dishes. Now let's cook the fish. Preheat a nonstick grill pan on medium-high heat. Lightly oil the pan, then add our sea bass. We'll want to grill for about three to six minutes on each side or until done. The general rule is about eight minutes for every inch of fish thickness. When the sea bass is fully cooked, it should be flaky and delicate. To finish it off, serve with a side of fresh cilantro and our sweet soy ginger sauce. So that's how you make my Asian style grilled sea bass. The fish is super flaky and tender and it tastes amazing. I hope you have a chance to try it for yourself. Stay tuned for my next video in this series of Pike Place Market Asian inspired recipes because I brought home some fresh bok choy and I will show you guys how to make restaurant quality bok choy that's super crispy, wok fried, and it's gonna be a perfect classic Asian vegetable dish that will pair really nicely with this fish. So with that, I will see you soon. Bye.